This video is sponsored by Squarespace, the fast and easy way to make a beautiful website. making my favorite everyday brunch situation with my favorite sourdough, red pesto, a little bit of mayo and some poke cheese. Hello, good morning, coffee in hand. Cheers, my friends. How are you all doing today? This week we are attempting another kind of hybrid, what I wore this week with vloggy elements and aspects, hopefully um, from little snippets of my day during the week. Uh, I actually love these. They're, they take a little while to film, obviously, a bit more than a daily vlog, but I do love sharing them and you guys have been loving kind of seeing my outfits as well, which is always nice to hear. I can feel this coffee is already getting me amped up. I feel like we're starting off strong with the outfit that I'm wearing today. I know you guys are gonna, I know you guys are gonna like this one. Speaking of clothes, got a couple of new nice basics in, which I might run through quickly along with some other kind of, kind of maybe splurgy purchases. Um, that I got that I'm very excited to tell you about. So uh, for today, I might throw in a bit of a, a mini haul in there. Okay, so I'm in my full regalia um, outfit. Let me show you. I really, really love this. I think you're gonna dig. So this is kind of like the top half. I'm gonna show you like the full thing in a second, but kind of a 90s vibe. Um, the sports bra kind of crop top thing i've had for ages now it's like old urban outfitters but it's that fabric that they always have in stock that i love because it just it's very supportive surprisingly and um yeah i just love the cut of it sort of crop top shirt layering situation is kind of my my new favorite thing this week so i think i'll be doing that a lot more and um, the shirt is vintage from awoke vintage in brooklyn you may have noticed by now i am 100 percent a sucker for a short sleeve shirt like this that kind of has a bit of a menswear collar to it um, but it's lovely and light. I love these throw-on things. And um, if you're looking for something similar, I have quite a few from just the men's section on ASOS. I just get these cuts in the size small and they do just as well. Um, but always love a good vintage find. It's a silk shirt. Have my Etsy chains on, my vintage Libra scales, which is perfect for an outfit like this. I love layering up like this. Um, rings, all right, this is a new, I haven't shown you this, but this is from like a yin yang style ring. It's like two rings from a brand called Raiden and um, I've been wearing it non-stop. These ones are Majuri, Etsy, Vintage. These that I wear, I have two of these bracelets, but they're John Hardy. I don't mention it often because they're pretty expensive, but I got them through work. Um, Majuri and then my Irish cladder ring. A lot of you ask like, where do I get the cladder rings? This was actually a gift for Christmas, but if you just look online, cladder rings, gold for mine's 14 karat gold for color reference you kind of see there 14 karat gold isn't as gold a 90s croc shoulder bag oh my god it's reminding me so much of hot girl summer last year i took this bag out so much like where is the summer gone i don't understand i thought i would be in a club by now <laughs> it's from one of my favorite local boutiques in brooklyn called uh shop pesh um, and then on the bottom here 
I have my Air Force Ones, which have been getting so much wear since I got them. Like, I can't recommend them more. They're so light, so comfy. I almost wish I got the high tops version. I feel like the high tops are a bit more, would be suited to me a little bit better. I don't know. In the, I feel like I always need to wear, like, high socks to balance these out. I'm sure a lot of you are in the same boat in that you were trying to be ahead of the curve and get all of your spring summer stuff ready at the end of winter like I did and, uh, and now you have a closet full of cute shit for events that didn't come to fruition um, and alas here we are just trying to get just trying to get at least an Instagram photo out of um, all the all the nice little pieces that I bought but Hey ho, they will be future summers, I guess. <laughs> kind of liked this little filming setup for the last haul segment I did, so we're back. Um, I just got a couple of cool things as well that came in. I'll do the random things first. Anyone that's a fan of ceramics. Oh my God, I've been waiting for this day for these to come back in stock from a um, New York based ceramicist. Is that the word? Potter, um, summer school shop on Instagram, but like, oh my God, I've been waiting to buy the perfect mugs now that I have everything exposed in the kitchen. I kind of have been like wanting to collect. Oh, they're just so aesthetic. I love them. I don't even drink out of mugs that much. I like to have a couple of things that are really nice than just a bunch of like 90 ugly mugs up in my cabinet. You know what I mean? I made an order for some really cool prints. I think you're going to see me putting them up in next week's vlog. It's a bit of a it's a weird sort of time delay with that, but uh, I got some prints from, where over here? Hotel Magique, which I think is run by a female artist and I love everything she does. It was actually a great recommendation from Lucy Moon. So thank you for putting me on Lucy because it's one of my new favorite brands. Like she's living the dream in my opinion, like being able to create all of these amazing products like prints and like basically this is some of the other stuff that i got i got these pillowcases one says wake up and then the other one says maybe later uh, she threw in this gorgeous tote bag for me and i love it it's like the perfect going to the park as you know i all do a lot slash groceries because i always get my groceries on the way home i love that it's like flat at the bottom and um, so i've been using that load it's got like a pocket in it as well i don't know why but like if, if the tote bag does not have a pocket in it this is the star of the show today i made a very expensive but warranted i feel purchase that came all the way from japan ebay um, i got a new camera you guys and i'm so excited i haven't been this excited now about content making in a while. No, I know you're probably all wondering, Tara, you take so many photos. You share so many film photos. Why do you not take film photos? I don't know why. And I have resolved that issue now. Ooh, so pumped about it being in all the original packaging. And um, if you're into film photography, you'd probably know that the contacts is like one of the most, I would say, coveted point and shoots at the moment it's not even that they're generally worth that much money but it's just they're in such high demand they're like the it point and shoot film camera and they're just so the, the price of them has just gotten so astronomical from the demand but um i've been thinking about what model to get for a year because at the end of the day you can get a film camera for like ten dollars in a charity shop or a thrift store and it'd be absolutely fine but because I wanted it for work, I just, I wanted to know that the autofocus was going to be bang on and the picture quality was going to be amazing. And um, I don't know, I just asked around some of my film photography friends and all of them were just like, get a contact, just do it, bite the bullet. So I did, I got it in the titanium black, didn't really fancy the gold. So um, I paid a bit more to get the black, but it came so quick and um it's like almost in mint condition there's like i can't see any visible scratches on it whatsoever so i'm familiar with manual film cameras but i've never had a point and shoot and i just find that you're never going to take a manual camera out with you and this is just so easy to hand off to someone to just take a quick photo i can't wait to capture memories on it that's the number one thing but also um, I want to do a lot of work stuff with it. I want to create a lot of photography content with it. I just feel like digital photography, like it isn't 
I know I can do it, but it doesn't. I, I think I would just get a lot more joy out of shooting on film. I just like how it looks. I know that I'm gonna make magic on this camera. And the really cool thing, the really cool thing about this is the original Japanese receipt. I feel so validated by this receipt because the date on it is 1092, which is my birthday month and my birthday year. So I just feel like good things are gonna come from this camera, my friends, good things. I'm so excited. Especially if you watch my Lover Sunday on Instagram, my kind of um, nostalgia, lovers, heartbreak edit that I do on stories on a Sunday. It's kind of almost like a Tumblr vibe. Um, I got a lot of that kind of vibe in mind. Before we drive on with what the rest of this video has to offer, big shout out to my long-term partners, Squarespace, who are sponsoring today's video. If you've been watching the videos for a while, you know I highly recommend Squarespace for all your website needs, everything from the domain name to the website itself can all be created through the Squarespace platform. And I've been using it since university. It's very intuitive. You can create beautiful looking websites with their templates. Whether you need a blog or an online store, or even an e-portfolio space to share your work or just somewhere to have your own slice of the internet, you'll be up and running in no time, especially with all of their beautiful aesthetic templates. It just makes everything look so professional. Don't need to take my word for it. You can try it for free for two weeks with my link squarespace.com slash tarmer. And if you like it and you want to push it live, you can use my code tarmer at checkout for an extra 10% off your future billing. No crazy plans today. The main thing is getting some Instagram content. I really want to take some photos of this outfit. It's going to be a bit of a trial and tribulation. Probably won't be able to film it, but um, I'm going to get out with my tripod, like the dedicated content creator, lonesome content creator I am, and just do what I got to do. I think it's kind of quiet outside at the moment. It's not a busy time, so hopefully I won't be too mortified, but just know I go to great lengths to get pictures for you guys. Still get questions on how I take photos by myself. Um, generally, if it's an outfit photo, I'll just use my iPhone as opposed to like, I definitely do not shoot with a big camera anymore. But I just set my phone on self timer and hook up Bluetooth with one of these like shutter buttons. And I just kind of like, either set the timer so that I have time to hide the shutter button in between shots. But most of the time I just like to shoot I would like a hundred photos really quickly. So I'll just spin around and press the button like a million times and hope that there's a good shot in there. So it takes a while. It takes probably more like 30, 35 minutes from all the faffing around, walking around, finding a spot, waiting for people to pass. Um, as opposed to like two minutes max if somebody was to do it for you. But um, it's been a quiet week. Um, I haven't seen anyone thus far this week. So hopefully <laughs> towards the end of the week, I'll be able to rope my friends in for a couple of more photos. I thought it would be fun for us to make an ice latte together. Good old ice latte, part of my everyday routine faux show. It's kind of like my highlight to my day if I'm being honest or up there with some of them anyway. Um, but I make them a lot on Instagram and I show you guys me making coffee a lot, but it's been a while since I've actually talked you through how I like to make sort of a basic go to ice latte at home. The concept is simple, but it's actually really easy to mess up. And a lot of you guys do DM me asking me how I make my coffees. I've made coffee 101 ways at home over quarantine, but I'll show you like my basic ice latte recipe. I personally love a double espresso if I'm making kind of a decent sized ice latte. If you don't have um, an espresso machine, I actually really love making coffee at home with something like this, just a really strong instant coffee. This brand is bomb. It's like hazelnut flavored. Do you like my coffee with a touch of sweetness? I've got a teaspoon of, it's honey today. I usually use agave though, but I'm out. Call me an aesthetic sucker, but I am a fan of like a perfectly square ice cube. Just nice ice cubes in general, man. It just puts me in a good mood. What can I say? It's the simple things in life. My local store is out of oat milk, but I am a fan of an unsweetened vanilla almond milk also. Now, I don't know about you, but I find nothing at all appealing about watery iced coffee. So skip that, put in the milk on the ice. And it will just help cool down the espresso. And then you pour it in and it's 
just that simple, my friends. Wow, look at her. She's a model. So beautiful. Cheers, folks. That is my coffee shop style iced coffee taste test. Mmm. Perfection. Um, I'm also a fan of adding a little bit of extra vanilla in there sometimes. Just depends what I feel like, but this is the, the fail safe standard around here. Oh, I mean, look at that froth. I'm weak for myself. So, random side note I got this little lino runner for the kitchen because, well, first of all, I mean, it's a very subtle, neutral <laughs> palette I have going on. There's little touches of peach and stuff like that from the all place bits, but I've been kind of thinking of how I can pull in a little bit more print and fun. Yes, my mouth is still half full of medjool dates, but alas, coming to you guys, obviously another day, another outfit. I'm not actually doing anything today, nothing kind of vlog worthy. I've just been out, nipped out, got my coffee, got my bits. It's just one of those days. Um, to be honest, I probably only put on this many clothes just for you guys, so there's that. A tomboy type of mood today. And um, I think they're just kind of simple pieces that you will like. Went for the little lacy trim cami today. Kind of reminds me of things you would have worn when you were like 13 that you were allergic to and you wish your mom didn't make you wear, you know, like preteen stuff, like before you wear a bra. Kind of reminds me of that. But um, I actually have a lot of questions. I wore it on Instagram and a lot of you seem to be looking for lacy trimmed camis and i got this one a while back but i only started kind of wearing it this week and i love it it's so just cozy and nostalgic feeling i just think with this style top it would look better tucked in and i also wish i got one size down because with these tops they're so flimsy and so stretchy like they do stretch out and um, but yeah i'm wearing it with my dickies very comfortable still so glad i sized down in these as well really simple haven't over accessorized or anything like that today i'm actually gonna whiz you guys down a little bit so you can see the rest also kind of loving any excuse to wear uh trousers because it's been raining a lot it's been a little bit cooler I do like cooler days like this um because it means i get to bust out all of these uh nice trousers that i bought that i haven't really got much of a chance to wear that i know i will be wearing a lot in Autumn, but I do love this fabric. It's the Dickies, the Dickies fabric in particular. It's very light and breathable. I'm gonna show you what I had it layered up with earlier, just to kind of jazz up the look a little bit for you guys. I'm also wearing just my Air Force ones with these. Just a very tomboyish, tomboyish look all right, which is why I've left my hair down. But um, yeah, why does it remind me of um, something from What's that Johnny Depp movie? Uh, Fear and Loathing in Las Vegas? It kind of <laughs> reminds me of <laughs> As much as I love dressing more for my shape now, I think there'll always be a big bit of tomboy in me. Um, I'm just wearing my Hotel Magique by Tombolo shirt with it. Very painterly. I think you would have seen it in my last video or my last vlog, I believe. But I like all these tones together. Very muted, very simple. Also, very much a no makeup day. A lot of you have been asking how my skin has been staying clear with wearing masks and all of that. And a big part of keeping my skin clear with the sweat that gathers is just wearing no makeup, like no face makeup. Um, makeup is probably, I think I saw like the number one cause of like the breakouts. Um, so that's helped a lot. I haven't actually had any like major like mask knee as everyone's calling it yet. So I think that's helped just leaving my skin and breathe. And that is all I have for you today, folks. Uh, I'll catch you in the next one. I am in one of my favorite tops at the moment, which yes, does have some blotches on it because I just tried cleaning deodorant off of it. And we all know how that goes when it comes to a black top that you've worn twice this week. I do love this top though. You saw it a couple of videos back. It was so affordable. I got it from one of my favorite Swedish brands, Weekday. They always have cute basics. And um, I don't know, I just love the cut of it. I think it's so flattering. Anyways, I am heading out for some kind of early evening 
summer drinks because the weather has looked up it was supposed to be a tropical thunderstorm today but alas in true new york fashion kind of didn't happen so plans are back on and i've put on this kind of easy easy breezy type of outfit very coordinated very monochrome this is actually my angela roy bag that i have gotten so many so much wear of should i say over the last two years angela roy sent me out this kind of alternative strap and i changed it out a few weeks ago because i just thought it was a bit more summery and i'm glad i did because it's kind of perfect for for an outfit like this Alrighty, let's take this from the top um yeah this, oh no that's still too low oh, really making a balls this today a hames of it all together this is the kind of full full look today i love whipping out the chanel sandals for outfits like this obviously like there's so many affordable dupes of these at this point just little quilted chunky dad sandals asos is always a good place to look and i'll definitely link some dupes down below i didn't pay full price for mine i think there's some confusion about that i got them pre-loved pre-owned obviously chanel always adds a little bit of um elevatedness to any outfit but yeah the linen shorts are i think you would have seen them earlier in the vlog they're the uh uni glow ones kind of a casual this is a very like city summer look for me this is a very like out and about in in new york anyway outfit you get the picture i'm gonna go see the girls now before i'm late because i'm obviously late for everything morning made it to the end of the week <sighs> what can i say guys i it's it's written on my face honestly <laughs> there's there's no hiding this i've been out twice this week i'm carrying about two days worth of food inside me i didn't get a great sleep last night it was really broken and every bit of that is showing on my face nonetheless i am in in a good mood um and i'm going to show you my last casual outfit for the day and kind of wind down this vlog for the week um i got a pretty cool t-shirt in this week it's from an irish brand and i think the girl's name is called hunter and i oh, it's just such a cool logo you know me i'm like officially just a collector of yin yang things now and i love this vibe this is great this is a great t-shirt i also just love the fit of it it's I like where the seam kind of rests. It kind of makes my shoulders look look strong. I like it. Um, and I also, for some reason, thought it would be a great idea to put on one of my tightest fitting pair of jeans on the day that I feel um, the most bloated. So um, we're here for that energy. This episode of Will I Fit Into The Frame? Okay, hopefully that kind of shows you my outfit. But I've got my Levi's. I think these are my let's back it up back it up back it up um these are my 901s and uh, i think these are like my most recent pair i don't think i've gotten a chance to wear them too much online um but 901s are like my fave fit at the moment because they're just super straight legged but they're more high waisted than a 501 and um, i'm going to review my shoe choice because i haven't really even looked in the mirror properly i'm not really even doing anything much today but i'm trying to just uh give my new vans a bit of a whirl we finally got there with the sizing on those as you saw in my last vlog but a uh, very very comfortable thus far and um in theory go with the outfit i just don't know how it looks everything always looks a little bit strange on camera compared to real life things look a lot more normal in real life but uh yeah all i'm doing today is i'm chilling it's essentially my day off uh, and i've just rolled out of bed i'm gonna go get some food kind of just nice takeout local food from la cantine also i must apologize if the sound has been a little a little weird like a little weird background noises i was reviewing the footage from the other clips and there is like a weird i don't know if it's a mic or some kind of weird echo i do apologize i've um as a follower subscriber recommended put some fabric on the bottom of my tripod that will hopefully absorb the rattle if it's like a rattle issue but it could just be my mic definitely check out the link to the tea though i think i'm wearing the unisex size small i do think it's organic as well which is and of course we stan a female run irish business doing pretty badass uh, designs okay we out here i'm looking a bit more alive i've got my coffee second coffee of the day um i actually did a big 
Instagram coffee post about my orders but for anyone wondering this is kind of usually my go-to if I haven't had coffee yet but it's cold brew a shot of espresso a drop of oat milk and if I'm feeling low on sugar I won't do any sugar but I generally ask to add a drop of simple syrup and it just kind of adds a tiny bit of sweetness to a very very strong coffee did I bring my reusable cup I also have my cutlery because I decided to eat it outside because I haven't been out that much this past two weeks so I'm taking any chance. Got the crispy fingerling potatoes. They're like purple um, and kind of regular baby potatoes but the purple ones taste so amazing. Like I don't understand why they taste so much better but this will do me dinner as well. I just feel like having something light. So I'm gonna have a couple of these now. They come with um, homemade garlic mayo or garlic aioli oh i usually get an extra one as well because i like to put them in my salads kind of during the week um or smear it on something delicious anyway and then i also have a arugula butter bean red onion salad with a uh, deep fried cauliflower which is like my favorite thing especially with that mayo oh my god and then i also got a side of cookies for later because you know it's the weekend but i'm gonna enjoy this outside it's not it's pretty humid how gorgeous the clouds are today though. What a beauty of a day. Ooh, feeling grateful, very lucky. Very lucky, very fortunate. Always be grateful for the little things. Cheers to the weekend. Mm. So good. If this is where we part for the week, I hope that you're enjoying your Sunday or maybe I'm catching you guys on your lunch break on a Monday. Fingers crossed making it a little bit more bearable. <laughs> but hey, look, we're all here still going. Yeah, I hope you all have a good one and I'll catch you guys in my next video.